Hi, my name is Femi and welcome to VideoStudio24.com This time we will be making a short tutorials uh, do it yourself the powering system for DSLR so the, the base thing the minimum is what you will need is this here step up step down converter I will provide more information uh, on the links on the video description below uh, what this uh, unit or module does is uh, independently what voltage you have for input between 3 and half up to 28 volts so you will be able to get very stable output but the max loading is about 2 amperes in total uh, I state there in the uh, specification that you will be able to get up to 3 amperes but is need, it, it's needed heatsink I don't know where exactly can be placed on this unit so if you need more than 2 amperes you can split use more of them so you get uh, one input and if, if you use two of them with separate outputs then you, you can get uh, one output for 2 amperes second output for 2 amperes so uh, you can power your equipment this is uh, the bare minimum and it depends uh, if you have stable input voltage and you don't need uh, step up or uh, converting this is step up and step down so it does both so then uh, I suggest you use this one which is step down converter but uh, keep in mind that if you want to get a stable uh, 12 volt output so you, you need input plus 2 volts more it means minimum uh, 14 volts to get 12 volts uh, output uh, th this has a very nice feature and I have tested uh, with 2 amperes and more so uh, you get input here it must be higher then you get stable output and uh, you may adjust uh, with this screw here it's very precisely adjustment then there is a built-in digital voltmeter so you can uh, by pressing this button check uh, voltage in and voltage out uh, this is stable unit normally it, it will draw some uh, power from your battery because in specification they stated it's about 20 milliamperes so I don't think it's too much but you have a higher control of what's going on and you can get this displays in different colors red black and green sorry red blue and green so if you decide to use more of these units then you can uh, perhaps uh, make a color classification for different voltages so you know uh, for example if you use 8.4 or 8.6 for uh, GH2 then you can make green or blue in 12 volt uh, you can make uh, red and so on uh, I will uh, demonstrate a little bit more later on. So. And uh, these are ready made, and I have already soldered. The good practice is uh, the positive wire always should be red, and the negative, the minus, should be black. So it's uh, easier to remember and to have a bit of control so here you can see also for this jack in the complete description of specification for this jack I, uh, you can read 
uh, on the details description below. So, uh, even on the jack, so this is the positive, this is the negative connection, and here in the middle is positive, so around is negative. Uh, this third part is used for a switch function, but I don't uh, use it, we don't need it at present time. So this is, you need uh, the minimum two of these. Uh, if you can solder, solder yourself, so you may ask some help from the local service or some guy who repairs uh, TV or electronics, they can help you. So you need bare minimum two of these. Also two wires if you want to use in conjunction with uh, to connect uh, one step up converter and to connect one uh, step down converter step down converter. So here is a simple connection, the most basic, and as you see, this is the input, and is leveled here as input. The plus is red one, and as we say, this input can be for this uh, converter between three and half up to twenty-eight volts, and this is the output output jack. Uh, all of these, if you just need to to, to have a one uh, stable voltage uh, powering, so you can use only this and I recommend uh, this project box from ABS Plastic so you can put and fix it there. There are no holes at present time and you can drill some hole here, here a Mac input output, and uh, use it to your DC coupler or uh, power your uh, DSLR. Uh, what I use is uh, this MP uh, Sony battery. It's uh, seven point four volts. You can also get uh, radio adapters. I will provide links below. So these are nice because you can connect here one of quarter one uh, quarter inch standard screw for rigs. And also this has a small lead diode. It will uh, show you if battery is fully charged, then you have green, uh, else you have red color. So now we will be connecting uh, this one. So I have added uh, this here clamp for uh, connecting to my rig. Uh, I wanted to keep the battery independent from the box because it may happen that you will be able to use another battery so I didn't want uh, integrated solution. Uh, now we will be connecting to step up adapter as you see. I have bought uh, this is not necessary but uh, this is a small integrated module as a voltmeter so I can very fast check uh, what voltage is coming out. I will use one more connection cable. So, as you see, okay, there is some problem here. Now, 
as you see, uh, the output is 8.8 volts. Uh, so you you can adjust this dependently uh, for what camera, for what DSLR you will be using. Uh, I will just demonstrate. adjustment process. So now we have 9.5 volts. I don't know if that's visible or we will be using the blue one. So now you see we have 9.5 volts and it will keep always this voltage very stable no matter what the input is between 3.5 and, and 28 volts. So now if, if we need to adjust for uh, our camera we can check uh, that we get I use it 8.8, .8, but uh, it will be more than enough, I think, using 8.6. So now you have a simple converter. If you don't need uh, more connections to split your power, so this will be more than enough for use uh, for your DSLR. Just to be careful and adjust first. Uh, output voltage for your needs so you will be able to uh, use and don't burn out your camera. Uh, here is the demonstration connecting to uh, GH2. As, uh, voltage should be between uh, 8.4 up to 8.8 .8. But I took uh, 8.6, so uh, this is the original DC coupler. So I suggest do not use any copies because uh, they may damage your camera. So. Now we have connected the coupler. So here is a. I couldn't find the exact uh, jack for the for connecting to to this type of jacks. So I bought one that you you can screw on the wires but be careful there is a plus and minus also uh, marked and uh, the middle one is a plus the outside is a minus or negative so now uh, we will be connecting the Powering the camera to this uh, converter, as we checked, it's 8.6 volts. We have put uh, the adapter on it in the now we power on our GH2. So, as you see. Now it's powered uh, through this uh, converter. So even if I press record, there is no problem because uh, sometimes it, it may be drop of uh, voltage. Then uh, you will get uh, battery error or some reporting that not something is wrong with your powering. 
it will not let you record. So that's it about uh, connecting to the GH2. And as you see, it works great. So the basic you will need is uh, this step up, step down converter. Uh, but I will show you later on if you want to extend more uh, because uh, if if you want to get stable stable output here uh, for 12 volts I do it uh, for 12.5 volts then the output from this I put as an input to this second uh, step down then I can use uh, to power other equipment with 12.5 volts from here but still have stable 8.6 volts uh, in this output and uh, if something happens wrong so uh, there is a less chance that both will, will be wrong you are more secure uh, powering because you will not get straight to your camera uh, some high voltage that will damage your camera your DSLR so this is a this was basic and we'll uh, show you a little bit later for more uh, for a connection between two okay now uh, I will show you. These both are connected. The first one is step up, step down converter. Now uh, it's adjusted to give out uh, 12.5 uh, or 6 volts. Uh, we are uh, powering it from the battery 7.4 as we show you earlier. And now we have the input into this second converter 12.5. If we press here, we have adjusted the output 8.8 .8, and we can lower it a bit more. So, 8.6. And this will be more than enough for uh, securely to power your GH2. But if you use for other DSLRs, then uh, you can adjust uh, the output voltage for uh, for the particular DSLR. Uh, so this here unit has been built uh, on the same basis. as I uh, show the basic uh, required modules or parts to make your uh, power splitter or a power powering system for your DSLR. So this is a simple view inside, uh, not too much technical. Here is a ready-made uh, using the same system, basic components, uh, my own powering system. So as I said, uh, here you get the input between 3.5 up to 28 volts. On higher voltage, uh, you need less current to get the same power, so it's uh, preferred. But if you don't have any any kind of uh, solution so you can use between three and half up to 28 volts minimum two amperes and uh, so that's very useful you, you can connect here and to car battery too so here the input here is the output so all output three wires red coming from here into each connector so this is 12.5 volt 12.5 volt 
a disconnector is for DSLR and it's going to the second step down which has a built-in voltmeter in the minus or negative is uh, just one wire goes around into minus here and then uh, minus here so the plus plus the plus here the plus here so don't mix them although they uh, state uh, some of these modules have a uh, uh, protection, polarity protection, but uh, it's better to do it right from the beginnings. So this is a, a small built-in, you will uh, check the description, you will see the links where you can buy some of these components, and uh, I hope this will help you on your way uh, of uh, creating your own powering system for your DSLR or uh, rig or any other equipment you want to power off power on thank you very much thank you for watching and please subscribe thank you